Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a what I got for baby shower. Yeah, I put a poll on my Instagram and most of you said that you wanted to see what we got. We had a lovely baby shower. We have never had a baby shower before. This is baby number three and also going to be our last baby so I asked Miles if we could have a baby shower this time because we've never had one and I wanted to do it. So we got loads of gifts for our baby shower which we are so thankful for and I can't show you everything because we'll be here for ages but I just thought I could show you some bits that really really liked and maybe that's going to be coming in useful. Now some of our, our guests did actually ask if we needed anything and originally we were saying just basically pick what you want but then because we had so many people asking us we basically found an app on a line whereby you can make your own list up then you can send the link to your your guests and then they can mark off what they've purchased so people don't double up on things because some things you just don't need two of and actually it makes it so much easier so you don't have to return anything and stuff so that app is called easy gift list so it's not just for baby showers you can do it for loads of other things and it's free as well so really really recommend that okay so obviously we got loads of clothes and stuff like that i picked out some bits that that we got and then I've picked out some other things that we got but yeah let me just get into this okay so first thing I want to show you was this new thermometer that we got we did actually put this on our list because we do have an in-ear thermometer but I've seen these ones used at schools because it's a lot easier than having to change the inner ear piece that you basically pop it on your head and then it tells you what temperature you've got so so that's that then we got heaps of books which we're really grateful for because we can never really have too many books. So this one's called That's Not My Unicorn so it's got like fluffy bits on it. That's Not My Fairy and That's Not My Mermaid. Who do you think loved this one? The unicorn one when we opened it? Oscar. <laughs> So these Tommy Tippy bottles were actually on our list as well. Um, these are the smaller size bottles which you would have when you are when the babies are first born. And we really liked these because they were advanced anti-colic. So these are the Tommy Tippy bottles. And we really got along with them. So we thought instead of like trying a new brand or trying a new bottle, let's just stick to what we know. And we, we absolutely loved these last time. And we also got these in the larger size as well, gifted to us at the baby shower. But definitely would recommend these bottles then look at this, <laughs> this huge elephant, it's literally so big, I think it's like 60 centimetres long, I don't know if you guys have ever seen this before but like the baby basically lays here and it's kind of like cuddled, I thought that was quite cute, I really love this elephant, I don't know, it hasn't got a name yet though, maybe comment below and tell me what I should name it, now I know I did actually say I don't really like teddy bears but things like that is just really cute and as long as you don't have too many teddy bears then that's okay okay next up we got this feeding pillow which is from mamas and papas it's called a nursing pillow actually and i've used it for breastfeeding and i also used it for bottle feeding so would recommend it for both basically this one's actually a gray version we did have like a a white elephant version from mamas and papas last time but they sold out but one of our friends got us this which is really really cute nice color as well but the good thing about those nursing pillows is it just takes the weight off of your arms like when you're feeding because you know how heavy that head gets even when they're tiny so definitely recommend getting one of those if you're having a baby anytime soon okay this is so cute i was actually going to purchase this well one of these but didn't and it wasn't even on our list actually so Mars's cousin read our mind this is a six nine month one maybe i will go and get a smaller one as well actually it's a little white dressing gown how sweet is that it's like a toweling material this one is from john lewis it's 69 six to nine months and the good thing about this one is that it's actually stitched on like the little sides are stitched on so you're not going to lose your rope some people say what is the point of these but actually i did really really use oscar's one when he was little for things like when you're getting out of the bath and you're wanting to cream them or, or give them like a baby massage and stuff but you don't want them to be in clothes obviously they can be in this and they can still be like a little bit wrapped up definitely use that and even now i know milo and oscar are both older now but they both use their dressing gowns like all the time so that doesn't stop we all know who this is sophie the giraffe the teaver i did actually have this on my wish list 
it does what it says on the tin basically it's a teether and oscar loved his i know there's some contra contra controversy over it is that the right word i know there's some speculation about not having him or her because of mold and stuff but i feel like if you don't put it in water and stuff it's not going to get mold there's going to be like debates about everything i find thankful to be getting one of these obviously the baby won't be using it until they're a lot older but good to have it then we got this lovely sleeping bag which is tog one for six to 18 months so it's like a sleeping bag like this I absolutely love the design it's just plain white and it's got grey styles over it which is so beautiful and it's really soft but we did actually love these with both of our children already and we found that they stayed on so much better than the cover and made me less paranoid about giving them anything to keep them warm because nothing can move up we really loved using these with both of the kids so really grateful that we got one of those so my brother got me this it's by Mountain Buggy, but basically it's like a hovering high chair. I'd never seen one before, but he used it with my nephew who is 18 months. It basically is so good for when you go out to eat because you know sometimes high chairs are a bit grubby and there's maybe not enough or things are broken and children can't actually come to the table quite often. And I know in one of the restaurants that I've been to, I've seen that they actually got their high chairs out of the toilet. So this is actually really good. I'll show you a close up picture. So basically it has like little screws on, like a little clamp. And then basically you can screw it to the table so your baby can sit at the table with you when you go out to a restaurant. And it's got like a little carrier and I figured that you could just keep this in the car so you don't need to always take it out with you. Just leave it in the car and then when you go out for dinner, if it's like spontaneous or whatever, which are not really that often spontaneous for children, but sometimes it is, you can just pull it out of the car and you know you've always got a car seat which is clean and you know it's not broken and everything really really handy i thought i think we got it in the gray but it does come in the red and the green as well we did have this one on our list as well only because we saw him use it and we was like wow that's sick we do have the bumbo as well which we keep at home but it's not as easily transported because like this one just goes flat and it's a lot easier to carry it's got a little carrier and stuff guys look how cute this baby girl is it is from the white company look at the little design i always find that i love look like the white company so much but i seldom buy anything for myself or my children in there because it is more costly than places like next or h&m but i always get other people gifts in there so if like my friend's having a baby i'll happily go into white company and spend lots of money in there but when it comes to my own children that sounds really bad but i'm just like nah they don't really need that so i'm really grateful that someone's actually gone into the white company and got me a really nice baby grow it's like a pinky color it's really really soft it's not to three months it should last them a little while it's just so cute i just can't believe that we're going to be having a baby soon it's actually crazy i'm trying to put this stuff back into the bags because i need to message people and say thank you for our gifts okay so another thing that i thought was quite cool that we got for our baby shower are wardrobe organizers and it's like one of those things i would never even think to ask for or didn't even really know existed until now we've received it so obviously when you first have your baby you kind of well we did anyway we, we sort of bought newborn stuff some not to three three to six and six to nine and then that way we didn't have to shop for a while basically so here we've got little togs which have the sizes on so that was newborn and then you've got the naught to three months three to six months and yeah you get where i'm going with this so it just makes it really really easy to know different sizes and you can just organize the wardrobe really nicely basically i was actually really chuffed with those because i would never even think to get them <laughs> don't actually know where they're from i don't know if that's the brand scratch mittens they are an absolute must aren't they for when your baby is little because when they don't have those magical baby grows that have the little hands they are like clawing at their face sometimes and it's not very nice because they do have really sharp nails like surprisingly really sharp nails 
scratch mittens are a must for when you've got a baby and I don't think you can ever get enough of these because you always lose them. If you're thinking about getting anyone a gift for a baby shower, scratch mittens is a good one. This next item is like something that you could never really ask for but it's so lovely to receive and it always means so much more than just having something that's shop bought. So it is a huge blanket that's been knitted for us. And it's absolutely so stunning. So it looks like a bit like a, a star. Can you see that? It's so pretty. I wish I was so talented, but I'm not. But yeah, it's really, really pretty. And it's really soft. It's like a pink, pinky colour. But it has actually got two colours entwined. I don't know if you can see. It's actually like a baby pink. But then very slightly, there's different shades of pink. It's just so well made. I mean, who literally could do that? Because I could not do that, unfortunately. My nan, bless her soul. She used to knit all the time and now she's not here to knit for us so I love receiving presents like that. Then we got this from Jojo, Mama and Bebe. Someone got it for us. It says born in 2020 and I just love things like this because this is the sort of thing that I'll be keeping. Let's see how big it is actually. Ah, uh, see look it's got a little hood and that's little flannel. Obviously that's going to need to go in the wash but it's quite big like a nice toweling material and it's got a little hook at the top as well that you can hook it up on the door you can never have enough towels either i just love when it's like really crisp white when the baby's little as well i find that really really cute this we got this which is by jelly cat it's a little pink bunny and it's got a comforter on it now this actually means a lot to us because basically when milo was born one of our close relatives got us a, a blue version of this and he literally loved it and he sucked his thumb and he used to rub this on his nose and so every time we've had a baby well obviously it's only been Oscar and then now this time she tries to get us this because she wants us to have a comforter for the child Oscar didn't actually take to having a comforter at all he wasn't really that way inclined but Milo loved it and if you lost it anywhere god forbid because you'd have to go back and find it we ended up having to go and buy like doubles because I remember I was in Barcelona my mum lost it so she had to call my cousin to go to the shop to buy another one but she didn't tell us about until we got home oscar's already said oh i've got one of those i've got one of those different color but okay and then last thing i'm going to show you is this box of jojo mama and bebe stuff that my mum got actually and usually she hates buying stuff for me because she says i'm fussy i'm not fussy but maybe i'm a little bit fussy but with my mum i can easily just say to her mum what is that that's dead so please take that back so i know with my mum it's actually cool like if i didn't like it but lucky I like everything. She got me a born in 2020 comforter. Blue one, blue. A grey one, elephant. Really cute. Love that. Goes with the towel. She got me the towel as well. And then I've got these tiny little socks. Look, look how small they are. They're both newborn. When Milo saw these, he was like, oh, that's what's so cute about new babies. They've got tiny little feet. And I remember with Oscar, he actually, like, Milo really liked Oscar's feet when he was born. He used to play with them. And then got this lovely baby grow, which is a size newborn. I'm really digging this print. It's so pretty. I always love the detailing on Jojo, Mummy and Bebe stuff as well. So this bit is like stitched in, if you can see. Really, really pretty. And I know from Oscar as well that this stuff does really wash up well. I do actually have quite a lot of baby grows from Jojo Mama and Bebe which me and Miles have purchased but we actually haven't got this one which is lucky and then we've got this like crossover one which has got buttons down the side as opposed to the middle which is like bunny rabbit and again it's got the stitching material on the back but she said Lauren I know that you're not that into pink but we needed to have some things that were pink so I was like okay mum that's fine we do like some things that are pink we just don't like when they're everything's pink and then she was so kind to get us two blankets both pink i think one's got elephants on and one's just like a knitted one so really nice you can't have enough blankets really as well can you so you need one for the pram you need one for the crib you just need one all the time and then you might want to leave one in the living room maybe on the mat and so on and so on and so on you need lots of blankets so we've got loads more stuff really we've got loads of baby grows like white ones vests lots of white ones as well because we kind of just wanted like neutral stuff so i did actually put on my list that i would love some white baby grows and vests but we've got loads of other beautiful clothes as well but i don't want to show you everything just because i feel like i'm going to be here forever and the video is going to be like 50 hours long slight exaggeration but anyway so we've got loads of new stuff 
I would definitely recommend if you're having a baby shower, if people do ask you, ask you what you want, do be honest and say, I would like this or this please because like in our circumstance we have actually got some stuff left over from Oz and I'm very grateful that I have been gifted some bits as well you don't want to double up on stuff oh I forgot about this teddy as well my mum got this teddy this is jelly cat as well I think yeah for the baby it's already been washed isn't it funny that when you have a new baby you literally wash everything teddy bears everything it's actually quite crazy and you'll probably wash it like more than once before baby comes as well so obviously we've only got eight weeks left and now we've got everything from our baby shower we're going to start like putting them into drawers and stuff so then we can figure out actually what we need that's it now i'm coming to the end of the baby haul baby shower haul and i just want to say thanks so much for all of your love that i've been getting on my videos at the moment and thanks so much for joining me today if you have any questions please let me know and i'll get back to you please like subscribe and comment and i will see you again next time bye bye